Make her tell us the location of the rebel base. Good God, man! I'm a doctor, not a savage! This is a flu shot! Good day, sir! You will make her... I said good day, sir! Welcome back to Weekly Mods. This week I spoke with members of the Battlefront modding community and have heard the need for more recognition of their work and the time and effort that goes into these mods. So I will be giving a greater in-depth look at the work that went into the mods and including the modders Patreons for you to support them. Our first mod is Claymaver 2000's What If Old Ben mod. Clay is an awesome friend of mine and he's been working on this mod for over a month. This mod reimagines Old Ben if he were played by Ewan McGregor. Genagine helps make the custom lightsaber textures, Clay did custom saber color, face textures, and had help from Satan with the hooded robes. Dwayne the Rock Lobster also took incredible in-game screenshots. I also happen to be a patron for CND Modworks, and Clay made me this awesome Pizza Arc 170 mod as a request. I highly recommend supporting these guys. Our second mod is an alpha file mod for Mara Jade by Virals. It features a mesh imported outfit, lightsaber, face, and hair. This mod is still in early stages of development and won't be updated until the final version is ready. Alexis Bovin imported the voice lines and Dulana57 helped with the face rigging and greatly improved textures. I couldn't find a Patreon for Virals, but I am a patron of Dulana57. The third mod is the Holy Wars Overhaul by the Asian Redneck. This mod is an updated version of his Crusader Deus Vault mod which includes many more features, such as a complete replacement of the First Order, custom meshes, custom voice lines and music, custom loading screen, new skins for Kylo Ren, replacement for Captain Phasma, custom hero portrait, star cards, and custom text. The Asian Redneck has a Patreon y'all should definitely check out as well. Next, we're looking at the Phoenix Platoon mod, which replaces most skins with the Phoenix Platoon skin from the 104th Battalion Milsim. Shout out to these guys who've helped in so many recreations. I would also highly recommend Darth Dio in the Spartan CV's Duel of the Fates intro. This mod changes the default Battlefront intro to a fast-paced epic montage of the Battlefront trailer, complete with Duel of the Fates by John Williams, which I'm talking over right now so I don't get copyright striked. Virals has also released the most detailed Ben Swolo mod I've seen. He did the rigging, UV mapping, mesh importing, and had help from Superior Knight for the textures. Virals has released this mod a little early as he'll be taking a break from modding. There's a funny mod by the modder Rizzle, who has introduced a mod that changes all the heroes to C-3PO. And a really in-depth mod, Altastink's Ultimate Stormtrooper pack, includes the Stormtrooper variants from three Star Wars films, Rogue One, A New Hope, and The Empire Strikes Back. With highly detailed helmet meshes and textures, custom backpack mesh and 2K textures, olive green officer uniforms, and shiny scout trooper armor. Tortuga helped assist with the mod creation, CT Blurry took these in-game captures, and Victor P. Lopes is responsible for the dark front-end mod. Altastinct has just told me that the mod has been updated to fix the instant action crashing issue some people were having. And if you like Kinect Star Wars, you'll love Benjamin Spanklin's I'm Han Solo theme for Han Solo's intro. No Tango Tortuga, aka Tortuga, has made his first front-end mod, the most Isley Cantina. The front-end medley has even been replaced with the Cantina band music. Thanks go to Victor P. Lopes, Bryce, and B240. Norm has reimagined what Aiden Versio's appearance would be if she joined the ranks of the Nova Troopers from Legends. Her body has been replaced with modified Stormtrooper armor with various other gear and protective armor pieces. Her helmet has been replaced with a modified Stormtrooper helmet with an attachable visor and communication antenna. Even her droid has changed textures. Special thanks go to Dwayne the Rock Lobster for screenshots and Am Whitey for writing her alternate history bio. She's lost the will to live? What is your degree in? Poetry? You sorry bunch of hippies? For God's sakes, don't use the billions of dollars of medical equipment around us. Why don't we all just get on our knees and pray? We don't have knees, you mother This mod by Stallion replaces Emperor Palpatine with Dr. Ball from Robot Chicken. This mod is fully loaded, multiplayer ready, and 100% stable. Stallion also released a public Django Fett Slave 1 mod, which was created for a recreation we're going to be attempting soon. There is also a multiplayer tested Dual Sabers mod by Green Army. Though he and I had no problems using this on co-op or supremacy, use this mod at your own risk. And lastly, Sample has released a Patreon exclusive mod update for his Clone Wars clones with the 41st and 327th, Rex, Jesse, and Cody. 
I will leave his Patreon link in the description below if you would like to get access to this yourself and become a patron. And for Jedi Fallen Order, there is a Lord Vader mod by Alex Poe this week, which replaces Cal Kestis with Lord Vader, with cape physics included. This video clip is from Alex Poe. And now the first works in progress is the ATDP. I remember some of you were asking about an old ATDP work in progress that was dropped. So I asked Stallion to make one and watched him make this from scratch. 24 vertex groups over the ATST and it's now a playable alpha mod, though it's currently untextured. He is also working on a TIE Defender Elite and a TIE Advanced prototype. Victor is working on Dirge from the 2003 Clone Wars TV show, and Rector is still working on his Imperial Guard. Fulcrum is testing the Sun's Head from the Clone Wars, and Daz Assassin is working on a young Boba Fett, slash Mandalorian 1313. Darth Sequel made a Rebel's Blades mod, and LWH is attempting the Sniper Droidica. Nano is working on a Darth Maul mod, and I guess he's returned to modding? and Mank Demery has successfully rigged K2SO. Hammy Flap is texturing kicks, and Satan is making a new helmet for the Scarif Rebels. Degil Nox has been teasing Darth Nihilus, and Dulana57 has been testing some jet boots. Last but not least is something that Altistinct posted in Showcase. This clone commando has a bunch of abilities that he shouldn't have, like Anakin's Force Push, Aiden's Shield, and Phasma's Middle Ability. But I put this in the video because I like the yellow theme. That's gonna wrap this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you liked this week's video where I went more in depth into the mods and gave more credit to the modders. For those of you who don't know how to install mods, I'll be doing a mod tutorial very soon. This is Wolf of Wolf, signing off, and as always, woof, woof.